I guess door number one. Yep. And I got a red screen. Lock out. That sucks. All right. Where is the sticker? Sage controller. <sighs> all right, for all the all of you who do not know, this right here, this is the blower motor. This is the gas valve, and the gas valve and the blow motor are connected to the manifold that connects to the front burner plate. Inside here, we have our swirl plate, all the other good stuff, but one of the first um, things that come on is the blower when there's a uh, power cycle of the boiler. Now, we have a couple wiring harnesses. We have this four wire, five prong Molex connector in the front, and in the back, we have a, a three prong for our line voltage, line, neutral, and ground. So we're gonna take a voltmeter, set it to read AC voltage, and connect our probes or our leads to the black and the white wire. All right, connect it just like that. Um, set to read voltage and AC, power's off. Let's turn that on. And let's see what happens. Let's see if we get a jump of voltage right there. Yep, if we get some voltage right there. Perfect. So we're going to remove those wires, the leads from the wire, reconnect this. Now we know before that the blower, a little tough, tricky in there, that the blower did not turn on. And we had that red screen check wiring, improper wiring, bad blower. So let's turn this back on and we should hear that blower kick on for a second. And we don't hear it. We have a condensate pump running, but we don't have the blower motor running. Blower motor is bad. All right, before we actually fully condemn this blower motor, there's one more test that we need to do to make sure that it is in fact a condemned blower motor. And that's following the simple step. Remember these four wires, the red, the white, black, and the blue? These are the communication wires from the Sage controller to the blower. The only thing I'm leaving connected is our three wire line voltage incoming, the black, the white, and the green. When we power this on, if this blower works, we may have a wiring harness issue, a pin failure, unlikely, but maybe a Sage controller. Let's see what happens. Hmm. Let's try that one more time, just to double confirm. Here we go. And that's just the primary loop pump running. We got a bad blower. A few moments later. Was the boiler installed wrong? Um, I don't typically 
talk negatively about... Uh, does he, no, 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 hold on. No, 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 just hear, me, hear me out for a second. I don't typically talk negatively about another tradesman or a contract or a professional unless there's blatant, like, disregard for just, like, the rules. And I always say, like, like a boiler installation is like a piece of art. Every single boiler installation is different because every, every hand operates differently. Overall, the system is installed the way it should be. There, were th there are things that can be changed on it that you know, others would probably do differently, but overall, it's, it's a good installation. Um, they, the only thing I can critique on it, there's one component that doesn't have piping separation uh, that it normally should have. But I'm just as guilty of the same thing 15, 20 years ago, because I didn't know any better. But overall, it's a very good installation. I'm not going to, I'm not, there's nothing to talk bad about it. Hear, hear me, and then hear me out for 30 more seconds and the floor is yours. What you have is, is like realistically, the Rolls Royce or like the Bugattis of heating boil boilers, okay? And, and just like- Is this a Bugatti house? Well, listen, I, that's, that's neither here nor there, right? Okay. However, just like a, a very expensive vehicle that requires, really requires maintenance after every use, that boiler does need to be disassembled, cleaned, and reassembled every year. And honestly, I don't know any company in the area that does it other than my company. And we only do it when the customers say yes. If I told you, listen, you know, we, we, you, you, have, you have this boiler. Yes, if I told you years ago, right, or whatever, that hey, listen, you have this boiler, and every year you're gonna spend five to seven hundred dollars to for maintenance, right? Chances are you're probably not gonna do it, unless you have it within your means and you really care about it. But the, pro the problem here is that this is the product that was installed, and this is what we have to work with. Alternatively, right, and, and also the, the plate or the label that identifies the model and serial number, I know what model it is, right, because I just know, because there's other stickers you can look for. The, the, the rating plate, the sticker that identifies the model, manufacturer date, size, serial number, is missing. I don't, it's not inside the boil where it should be. The yellow Energy Star sticker that's on there, like all appliances come with, it tells you the efficiency of a system. That tells me the model number. That's about it. So this is what we're, is what we're working with. We have a, a very expensive motor that is dead. And unfortunately, this is what happens. And even if you did how long annual will maintenance... Motor stay, how long will the motor stay? I feel like you said just so much. How, much will, how long will the motor stay? If, if we have replaced the motor and, and we put a surge protector on it, we, my company will guarantee the repair for two years. These things don't only die. What I'm trying to say is that the machine that you have, and I kid you not, I use Express in, literally, it will survive a nuclear blast and it will keep going. Well, I, what I care about. <laughs> like a New York City rat, you know, it'll, it, you can't I kill it. What I care about is that two summers ago, I had my, summer, my brother from California in visiting me and they don't come very often because we live here and the hot water went out and for a week I didn't call someone. Also, I work, I can't always take off. I just want the hot to be consistent because they were here and I had to send them to Echo Park to take a shower where we go. It's like embarrassing. They're like, I'm like, I know my house is not fancy, but like- It's I'm still your home it's my and home. it's your house. It's where you live and it's your investment. It's your pride and your joy. And listen, everyone, I don't care about how filthy it is. As long as it's not, there's not urine and piss in the corner, oh, piss, I, 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 I really don't care, I'm right? I really don't. I really don't care, right? What I care about is that the, the occupants or your family of this uh, people who live in this home are safe with a safe product. Yeah. That's all. That's my number one concern. And you have a very you have a very good boiler, right? Unfortunately, it needs a part. The decision is that you have to make is do you number one a do you make the repair, or b do you say listen I've had so many problems with this and again I don't know the extent of the history that you had with this boiler, right? But and I hate to say it because it's a very good boiler, right? But because of the costs that are involved to make this, to re put it back together and make it run are, are extreme, you need to decide and have a conversation with your family to see whether or not do we make a repair or do we re replace the boiler. And if you replace the boiler, that like a lot more than that, a lot more than that, a lot more than that. Yes, a lot more than that. You have, you have a boiler with four zones, you have an indirect water heater and you have you had a chimney at one point. Do we reuse the chimney? Literally, you're you, you, you're you're at the low ends of the spectrum in the tens, low low teens to start. Okay, I don't I don't I don't 
So I, I hear, I, and I'm not here to count what's in your, in, your, in your wallet or in your pocket. What you need to decide, and you don't have to do it right now, right? Because you've had no hot water for two weeks, but you need to think about, do we make a repair or do we replace? That's the only two choices I can give you. Okay. And the part is not cheap. You can Google it. <laughs> Google Alpine blower motor, and you'll see how expensive this thing is. Same price I'm quoting you. It's crazy.